He was a clone used through Fox Dye. And the Fox Dye in his body made him age rapidly. And so that's why he's an old man. Well, but like, why he's... Like, he was alive in like, a mid... Well, not middle age, but probably like in his 20s. In Metal Gear Solid 3. He rapidly aged in Metal Gear Solid 4. That's why he's old. Like, literally, that is the only explanation that there is. Is he's a clone, and he went through rapid aging. Well, how old is he in Metal Gear Solid 4? Like... They don't give an age, he's just an old man. Like, he... He's still the same age that he is, it's just he's aging rapidly. And, like, at one point in the game, you get a, um... Octo Camel for your face, so that way you don't have to be an old man through it. What's Octo Camo? Oh god, Mitchell, you're so behind. I don't know what Octo Camo is. Okay, so you know through the other two games you were gaining camouflage, right? Yes. Well, due to the snake's aging nature, uh, Otacon develops this suit called Octo Camo. It's like these, like, uh, really advanced suit that gives him, like, more strength and everything to keep his body intact. And, um, okay. it's used with, like, advanced technology. So no longer do you have to change your camo, even though you have the option to. Um, now you can, um, like, lay down on the ground, and your clothes will automatically go to that texture of what you're laying on. And so, rather than trying to change your camo, you blend in with your surroundings automatically. You guys trying to challenge me to a duel, are you kidding me? It's a level 41. No, scratch that, 45. So it's it's pretty cool. I mean, Metal Gear has always been a really big thing for me, and so for me, seeing this trailer was probably the greatest moment of my life. But um, I don't know. It just came out today. They already translated and everything, put English subtitles to it. So I'm definitely gonna rewatch the trailer. Um, huh. yeah. So let's see. You know what we really haven't talked about, and it's coming out, and we should really talk about seeing that as we're playing Borderlands? Heck yeah. Borderlands 2! Have you seen anything on this game? Other yeah. than that trailer? No. <laughs> like, I think everybody ever has seen that, like, five minute trailer where they talk about how there's dubstep and whatever in it. How there's more wub wub? How, yeah, how there's, like, 50% more wub wub. But, like, 6.7. Sure. That it said that I know the exact number. I mean, I know there's four characters. I know that there's Salvador, the main one that they've been showing since the announcement. And there's Zero, the character that everyone's gonna eventually play as. But other than that, I really have not seen anything for Borderlands 2. I know that there is a um, DLC character that everyone gets. That's right, audience. Um, if you pre-order Borderlands 2, you have to pre-order it. You have to. Put five dollars on and pick it up like six years later. Do what you got to do, because Gearbox is giving away a bunch of free shit as long as you pre-order it. Like, don't buy it on release day. That's fine. Just put five dollars down on it. Get it later. You get a vault key. Get a bunch of free stuff. You get a bunch of free guns and everything. You get a free DLC when it comes out. Free DLC. Free. And I mean, if you go to your local GameStop. Put down five dollars. They will hold that game for you until the end of time. Just saying. If you want that pre-order shit, you need to get your fucking they code down. They after forty-eight hours. Nope. I have yeah. had true story. How long ago did Star Wars, um, right, Old Republic come out? I don't know. I just now canceled my pre-order on it. Thursday. So, if you're out there in the audience right now, and you're like, whoa, I should do some math. Figure out how long I've had that game pre-ordered. A long time? <laughs> it's been at least like a year now that I've had that game pre-ordered, and I never picked it up. And all I had on it was $15. Hey, how come it won't let me upgrade? Wait, you can't level up? Oh, I can't level up. I can't get my... 
It says I don't have any level up points at all. Um. Woo! I heard that blast all the way over here. Me either. Bam! <laughs> we level up twice, didn't we? I'm not level four right now. I'm yeah, I'm level four too. Come and see me once you put what the hell? The because of these idiots? Not really sure. I think we gotta be like level five or something first. So, um, yeah, there's that. I mean, the stuff that I did see on Borderlands is the customization. That's pretty interesting. Like, I would like to see more customization in this game, to be honest. Like, it was just, I mean, I don't think it's anything like, you know, absolutely crazy, but it's just like, just a couple small things. Like, you know, change your shirt or pants or something, or... Still, or a hat. The, the game still, is an RPG, and they built it to be an RPG, and so having more RPG elements in the game is pretty nice. And these default characters, they don't look that bad. They look pretty cool as it is. But that doesn't hurt. Yeah. Oh, man. So, um, yeah, who's that? I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty excited for Borderlands 2. Uh, so the one that left you. the game, and now this guy is just raining hell on us. It's gonna be a pretty fun game. Um, Resident Evil 6. Somebody said that there's gonna be parts of the game where you can play as four people online. Like parts of the story. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't, th I don't think that's true. I, I don't like that if that's actually I'm pretty, true. I'm pretty sure there's two player co-op for each one for sure. Right, like the solid um two player co-op on everything was pretty nice. I like that. Well, and I don't I don't think that it's um okay the other guy left too. I don't think that it's all like one big intertwining it is you know gameplay thing. You why well, I, I know that it all comes together. Um. But it's like you you can play each character's campaign like at a time. That'd be interesting. Like, like I'm, I think that's how it's, I think that's what they're trying to do is you like you can play through Chris's campaign and then you can play through someone else's campaign. Well, I think you can play through I think they're person. doing it like they did the um, 3DS game where like you play one level as one person and then you switch to the other person so you go through each individual story. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just saw I saw something somewhere. That, like it, it would be a lot better if you play through each individual person's campaign. That would be a lot cooler. Yeah. I'm pretty excited nonetheless. Like, it is the last game on my list to pay off, but at the same time, it, it'll be pretty interesting because I mean. I don't like the idea of a fanboy game of all fanboys, but I still really like Resident Evil. It's one of those games. It's one of those games where you can still go back and like challenge each other for speed runs. Like it doesn't have a lot of replayability, but you do go back to it quite a bit. I mean, like for me, like seeing like when when I played Resident Evil 4 for the first time, like I thought what they did with like. I liked what they did with like the cameras and stuff, like, I don't know, for some reason I didn't like the whole like, read it light camera view thing, like that wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of that. Yeah. Like, and then when they came out with Resident Evil 4, like I was just, you know, like, the game is fantastic. Third person. Resident Evil yeah. 4 was a good game, and Leon is a solid character. Chris Redfield's story is kind of hard to get behind, but he's still a pretty awesome character. Resident Evil 5 is probably one of my top games. I really like Resident Evil 5. 
This is Halo 5 was good. And I like that, like, you know, a lot of games, they had the, um, you know, the following behind it where you're like, oh, let's do a speed run, let's do this. And Resident Evil 5 got behind that, and they gave you rewards for going fast. I like that. I like having Shev on your club of an outfit. <laughs> like I said, if you can find somebody that has the game, I'll borrow it and we'll play through it. Because I, I beat the game in like three hours. But obviously it's something that we can do. You know what, that's, maybe that's what I'll have to say to grab from you. Yeah, I killed him. Threw a grenade at him. Alright. Did we level up yet? Nope. We didn't. Kill this bitch. Hey, uh, fun fact about nine toes. The wrong dog. He also has ah, yes. three balls. He has three balls. Mm. Are you throwing those explosions? Yes. Of course it's Sam. Of course freaking digit goes for me. Hey, skag. Hi, can I help you? Leave me alone. Hi, okay. hello. Uh oh. Oh shit. Might be all you. Pinky. Pinky, fuck me out. I'm dead, dude. Dead? Yeah, I'm dead. What do you think I was doing? About to be dead. Damn it, that sucks. I'm not dead. Lost with all that fucking money that I had. Buy some ammo, though. Jesus. Cheater. Alright, main laying the crap out of Digit. And I'm coming. Those. Um, okay, so we said Resident Evil 6, um, Halo 4 you're not really into, but I guess I can talk about that one. I mean, Halo I'm, 4, like, Halo, um, it's like, it's a, don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a good game, you know, it's a good series too, but it's just like, for me, yeah, I'll play multiplayer, it's fun, I enjoy it, but it's not something that, like, I play for a long, long time. Halo is like, the game, it's been around forever. Ever since I was been gaming. Halo's been there. And so finishing out the story at three, I thought I did. But now going back, going for more, I'm okay with that. Especially when they explain forerunners, because I used to read all the books and everything. So like I have a lot of backstory on Halo. I have a really big thing for Halo. Run up this gun. I don't know, but I'm dying. Where are you at? How are you dying? Freaking Pinky's still here, damn it. Where? Eating the shit out of me. Uh oh. Oh my eyeball. It's interesting that they actually threw four hey, into the point. game. I mean, that, I think that's the biggest thing for me about Halo 4, is the fact that there are, uh, four runners in the game. Actually release what they look like, everyone actually now has a physical image of what a four runner is. <laughs> so you want me to what is a four runner? It is the, um, first species, quote unquote, for the, um, Halo universe. They are the origins of the universe. 